Good morning, class. So happy to see you today. Let's get ready to stand up and let's do our welcome song. Are you ready? Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. We're so Glad you're here. I can't hear you. Oh, rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. Rise and shine and welcome to lap today. We're so glad you're here. Okay, so happy to see your bright smiling faces. Today, we are doing a little mini space review. We're going to talk about a bunch of the things that we've learned about and I'm going to be asking you questions and I want you to say the answer out really loud so that I can see if you remember some of those things that we've talked about, okay? So... Here we go. Our, the first one is, what is deep space? Do you remember? What is deep space? When we look up at the night sky, remember, it's all of that space in between the planets and the stars and the moons and Every, all the space in between that's invisible, that's deep space. We can't smell it, we can't hear it, we can't touch it, we can't see it. So it's, that's what deep space is. What do we call space and everything in it? Everything. What's that big word? Did you say the universe? The universe! The universe is all of space, right? What is a star? What is a star? Oh, I heard some people say it. Can you say a big ball of glowing gas? Good. Yeah, it's a great big ball of glowing gas. Let's sing our Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song. Are you ready? Let's hear it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, how big you really are. Giant ball of glowing gas. One of billions in a mass. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, how big you really are. Twinkle, twinkle, giant star. Larger than the earth by far. Since your distance is a lot, you look like a tiny dot. Twinkle, twinkle, giant star. Very bright and very far. Do you remember what happens in a nebula? A nebula. We haven't talked about this for a while. Oh, I think I heard somebody say it. Say, a star is born. There's that big cloud of dust and gas and it's colorful. And that's where stars are born. Everybody say nebula, nebula. What is bigger, a galaxy or a constellation? Which one? Did you shout it out? Everybody say galaxy. A galaxy is bigger. Okay, here's another one. What is bigger? A galaxy or a planet? Hmm, which one's bigger? Oh, I heard people say it, say galaxy. A galaxy is bigger. 
What's the name of our galaxy? Did some of you remember? Say, the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy. Do you remember the story about the dog, the big spirit dog that was stealing the cornmeal and the villagers scared him away and he ran up off into the sky and he sprinkled the cornmeal around and that was how we got the Milky Way galaxy, right? That was a legend. What color is the very hottest color of a star? Oh, a bunch of you got that. Everybody say blue. Blue. Blue is the hottest. Do you remember which one's hotter? Uh, yellow or red? Yellow. Yellow's the hottest. The very hottest though is blue. And now I'm going to ask you some true or false questions. So that means if you think that it's right, if you think it's true, you're going to put your thumb up. If you think, oh, that's not true, then thumb down. Are you ready? Okay. Stars look like tiny dots in the sky when we go out there and look at the sky because in real life, they're the size of about a chocolate chip. Hmm. Is that why stars are so tiny? Because they're a little the size of a chocolate chip? <gasps> no! Thumb down! They're tiny because they're so far away, right? They're so far away, hundreds and hundreds of miles. Okay, groups of stars that make pictures in the sky are called corumbulations. Corumbulations. So pictures in the sky made of stars, if that's true, if they're called corumbulations, thumb up. If they're not called corumbulations, thumb down. Thumb down, right? Because what are they really called? Constellations, right? Like the Little Dipper, the Big Dipper, Orion, all of those. Good. Okay, here's another true or false. Get ready with your thumbs. Our sun is a big, ginormous planet. Our sun is a big, ginormous planet. Is that true? Or false. <gasps> false. That's not true. That's not true. It's not a planet. Our sun's a star, right? It's a big ball of glowing gas. So thumb down on that one. Okay. The sun, if this is true, put your thumb up. The sun is the biggest star in the whole galaxy. Is it the biggest star in the whole galaxy? or not? No, no, it's not. It's big to us because it's the closest star to us, but it's really just a medium-sized star. Isn't that crazy that there's so many bigger stars out there? Oh my goodness. Do you remember what solar means? anything to do with the sun. That's right. And so our solar system, it's our sun system. It's all of the things that go around the sun, right? Let's do our solar system song. Are you ready? It starts with our sun's a star. Here we go. Our sun's a star, then Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune's the last one of the planets in our solar system. Good job, you know all of the planets. Okay, do you remember what does it mean to orbit something? What does it mean to orbit something? To go around, good. So if it orbits something, it's going around that thing. So our Earth orbits the sun, right? And there's something that orbits the Earth. The moon 
orbits the Earth, doesn't it? Goes around and around the Earth. So if it orbits something, it means to go around. How does the sun help us? Why do we need the sun? Yes, it gives us light, it keeps us warm, and it helps plants to grow. If we didn't have plants growing, then we wouldn't be able to live, we wouldn't have food. So we're so thankful for the sun. How many times has the earth orbited the sun since you were born? If you were three, how many times would it have gone around? Three times. If you're four, how many times have you been around the sun? Four times. If you're five, how many times? Five times. And if you're six, how many times? Six times around the sun already. That's right, so however old you are, that's how many times you've been around the sun because it takes a whole year for us to orbit the sun one time. Okay, let's do that song. Here we go. The earth orbits the sun, the earth orbits the sun. Once a year, every year, the earth orbits the sun. The earth turns around, the earth turns around. Once a day, every day, the earth rotates. Good job, that's awesome. Okay, what is that blanket of air that covers the earth, that surrounds the earth like an orange peel. What is that called? Do you remember? Can everybody say atmosphere? Atmosphere. What does atmosphere start with? What sound does it start with? Atmosphere. Atmosphere. It starts with an a, ah, doesn't it? Good job. Let's do our air, air, everywhere song. Air, air, everywhere, in our pockets, in our hair. You can't see it, but you know it's air. Air is everywhere. which we know it is, why do we not just fly off? Why do we not fall and slip off the earth if it's round? That's right, because of gravity. Everybody say gravity. Gravity keeps us pulled down. It's that force that pulls down toward the center of the earth and keeps our feet 
on the ground or if we get thrown up, we come back down, don't we? Let's do gravity, here we go. Gravity is pulling down, pulling down, pulling down. Gravity is pulling down all around us. Take a ball and toss it high. Will it stay in the sky? Gravity will pull it down all around us. Jump up high and down you'll go. There's a force down below. Gravity is pulling down all around us. Is there a lot of gravity on the moon? No, there's not very much gravity. Not nearly like the Earth. There's a little bit of gravity on the moon, but mostly you're weightless on the moon, right? You float. So that's because the moon is so much smaller than the Earth. The smaller the sphere, the less the gravity. Does the moon make its own light? <gasps> no, remember it's just like a big rock, a rocky sphere. So it doesn't make its own light like the sun. It's not a fiery ball of glowing gas like the stars. The moon just reflects the sun's light, right? Let's do our moon song. Look at the moon, look at the moon, out in space, out in space. It reflects the sun's light, it reflects the sun's light. See it shine, see it shine. What phase is the moon in when we see just a sliver of it? We just see like a little sliver. Do you remember that big word? Say crescent moon, crescent moon. That's a crescent moon phase. What about if it's the, the whole thing? Totally round, totally round circle. Yes, full moon, good job. How do astronauts drink from the space shuttle? Can they use a cup? No, they have to have a pouch with a straw, right? Because otherwise their water would float away. Little droplets would go around the space shuttle. And how do they sleep? Do they sleep in bunk beds? Do they sleep in a big, huge bed? No, there's not very much space in the space shuttle. But also they would float around, right? Everybody say, sleeping bags. Sleeping bags, they get strapped in to their sleeping bags so they don't float off during the night. Did you know that astronauts use wet wipes to clean themselves instead of taking a bath or a shower? They can't really take a bath, wouldn't the water float away? So they use wet wipes to get clean. And if they don't exercise out in space, they get super weak, their muscles get smaller because they're floating around. They don't have gravity like us that pushes and pulls on our muscles and makes them stronger. They don't have that out there, so they, get, they would get weak. So they have to exercise about two hours a day so they don't get weak out there in space. Let's do our planetary push-ups. Are you ready? Okay, ready? Are you guys ready for our push-ups? Okay, we're gonna start with Mercury, all eight planets, here we go. Oh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, We made it. Good job. And now we're ready for our solar stretches. Ready? Up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, down to the floor, right to the rocket, 
right to the rocket, left to the door, left to the door, up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, down to the floor, right to the rocket, right to the rocket, left to the door, left to the door. Woo, okay, now we are feeling more strong too, right? Would you like to be an astronaut? Oh, let's do our astronaut song. Floating in the bathtub, swimming in the pool. I'm getting ready for astronaut school. Floating in the bathtub, swimming in the pool. I'll be an astronaut cause I'm so cool. My mom says her diet's no good. She wants to go to space with me. She thinks she can eat all she wants and float around weightlessly. Oh, that would work. Floating in the bathtub, swimming in the pool. I'm getting ready for astronaut school. Floating in the bathtub, swimming in the pool. I'll be an astronaut cause I'm so cool. My daddy hates to exercise. Push-ups just make him wheeze. But if he goes in space with me, he'll look like Hercules. Oh, floating in the bathtub, swimming in the pool. I'm getting ready for astronaut school. Floating in the bathtub, swimming in the pool. I'll be an astronaut cause I'm so cool. Okay, today is exciting. We have our first sight word that we're gonna do today. And our first sight word is A, A. So we have already learned our A ah sound. A, ah, A, ah, A, ah, A, ah, A. Ah. It makes an A ah sound in our words. But if we see it all by itself, without any other letters next to it, then it is going to say its name. It's gonna say A, A, and it's a word like, I would like a chocolate chip cookie. I see a planet. I want a house. I saw a cat. So it's a very, it's its own word when we see it all by itself. So it can be in a sentence and it can be, it can be a small one all by itself in a sentence, or it can also be a capital A at the beginning of a sentence. If a capital A is all by itself at the beginning of a sentence, it would be capitalized and it would also say a, like a storm is coming. A name must be created. A play is fun to watch. So it's at the beginning, it's all by itself, and it could be a capital at the beginning all by itself, or it could be in the sentence, and it could be a small one. So what does this say? Everybody say, a, A, what does this say? A, good. Okay, so if I have, in a sentence, I have A, and then what's this picture? Say star. A star, A star, like I want to see A star. Or I see, everyone say, a rectangle, rectangle. I see a square, square. So a square. Now if it's at the beginning of a sentence, it could say a triangle is black. Or it could say, a circle is orange. So it can be capital all by itself, 
or it could be small, all by itself. And what does it say, you guys? Everybody say A, 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 A. It's a new word. Good job. Okay, now when you're practicing your golden sounds with your mom, hopefully you're practicing them and trying to get them as fast as you can. That's what we want to do. Okay, but we're going to do them together now, and we've added our new word, A, into them. Are you ready? Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Like sun. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Mm, 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 mm. Like muffin. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? Whoop, 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 whoop. Like west. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the word with me? A, 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 A. Like, I would like a cookie. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? A, 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 A. Good job. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? T, 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 like telescope. Higgledy, piggledy, bumblebee. Can you say the sound with me? O, 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 like lemon. And back to the beginning. That goes pretty fast, doesn't it? It's pretty quick to get through our sounds. Okay, we've practiced our sounds. Now let's practice blending some of them together. Are you ready? We have a, this sound. What is this sound right here? Everybody say whoa. And this sound. What's this sound? Ah, it's not all by itself. So it's not, we don't say A. It's our ah sound. It's with another sound. It's with the whoop. Now we're gonna start and we're gonna slide it together. We're gonna lock it together. Are you ready? Keep 
looking around and trying to think about what things start with. What are the beginning sounds? So if you see a table, what does table start with? Table, table, t, table. It starts with a t. What about a lime? What does lime start with? Lime, lime, ol. Ol is the first sound, lime. So ol, good. So just keep practicing and thinking about, hmm, what do things start with? Okay, that's good practice. And don't forget to practice your sounds with your mom every day. We also, today we have a new, we have our new word. What's our word? Everybody say A. And I want you to trace the A and then say the picture. So this would be trace it and then you say A tree. A tree. Okay? And you can do that with all of those. So easy and you have your first word. That's so cool. Okay. We also have a rhyming worksheet today. So this is a moon. Everybody say moon. Does moon rhyme with dollar? No. Does moon rhyme with mice? No. Does moon rhyme with spoon? Oh, they have both the same ending sound, moon and spoon. So they rhyme. So you would draw a line between moon and spoon. Does dollar rhyme with mice? No. Does dollar rhyme with pa? No. Does dollar rhyme with collar? Yes. So you would draw a line with dollar and collar. Does spoon rhyme with paw? I'm sorry, does mice rhyme with paw? Does mice rhyme with collar? No. Does mice rhyme with ice? <gasps> mice and ice, they end the same. So they rhyme. Good. Does paw rhyme with collar? No. Does paw rhyme with ice? No. Does paw rhyme with claw? Yes. So paw and claw have a line connecting them. Okay, so you can do that one. And then there's also a coloring page that shows the sun and it shows the earth and it shows the moon. So when the sh sun shines, then sometimes we see the, a certain part of the moon, right? And that's what helps it to be a crescent shape or a full moon, or maybe it's the earth is blocking it all the way and it's a new moon, we can't even see it at all. So there's that one to do too. You guys are doing so great. Everybody say, I work hard, I work hard. I am awesome, I am awesome. See you next time.